Hi everyone and welcome to this week's Arrange Your Own video. I'm Hannah and this week is Halloween at H. Bloom. So we've chosen some really fun roses for you and just some fun accents to go with them. The roses are Hocus Pocus and they're so cool because they have this you know, dark burgundy color, but then they have variegations of yellow inside, which is so unique. So we have those, Dianthus Green Tricks, Burgundy Carnations, Equisitum or Horsetail. We have this beautiful grass, kind of has variegated texture, Miscanthus and some lemon leaves with a side of Aspidistra. So today I decided to do a little spooky 3D, three piece display. So it'd be fun if you're having a little Halloween party to put it by the candy or just so the kids can see it when they come inside to get a little treat or something. So to start, I'm, I chose this really thin, tall base to use my Miscanthus in. I love in the fall using grasses because I think they're so much fun and so unique. This works especially well for Halloween because it's kind of mysterious and it has a little bit of curl to it. So I'm just taking the miscanthus, which is the little furry thing inside, and then the little leaves that come along with it. And I'm just placing them in a group and then we'll just cut them down to size. And they're just kind of going to billow out of our tallest phase. A little bit of fun. Then we'll take three of our Aquasitum stems. You can see how tall they are. So I'm just going to cut them in half. And we'll cut off the little cones too. And we're just going to place these in our vase as well. It's a fun little accent. They do float because they have little separations inside the stem. Keeps air inside, but they'll stay up with your miscanthus really well. And it doesn't matter which end you put in of the cut side, they'll drink either way. There we go. And then just fluff your miscanthus a little bit. So since this is so tall, I'm going to move it aside so we can see. And then we'll move to our next vase. For this one, I'm going to do a little bit of greenery. Just to break things up a little bit. I'm just taking off each lateral from our lemon leaf. And I'm just going to cut all of the stems. And this is going to create a little lattice for us to stick all of our floral in. So for this, I want to use a few green trick. They kind of look like little beds of grass. They're so cute. And just set them right inside. Do them kind of towards the front so they peek over the lemon leaves. Perfect. And then we'll take a few of our carnations and place them right alongside the green trick to kind of set them off a little bit. And because these are a little more burgundy, it's not. It's not really Christmassy at all. It's just a nice little fun touch. Almost like a little bit of blood from the witch's cauldron or something. And we'll put one last one in. There we go. Then move on to the smallest one. Keep these guys together. And for this one, we have. Kind of an assortment of things left over. So I'm going to take 
our aspidistra leaves and I'm just going to fold them twice and staple them a little bit. Same with the second. Two folds and then a little staple. And I'm going to take our last jacuzinum stems and since this is such a small base, I can cut these into tons of sections. And we'll just create a little, little grouping of them. It'll mimic the, our tall arrangement and bring the three-piece display together a little bit more. There we go. And then we'll just tie these together with some bindwire. This is just going to pop out of our arrangement. A little bit of fun. And then we'll move on to the flowers. So you can set aside those things. It's just nice to do a little prep work first. Then we'll start with a little lemon leaf. Place them in. Then we'll take our pre-stapled aspidistra. And these are going to be the back of our arrangement. So all of our floral is going to sit on top of them. This little fold creates a lift and it brings the flowers forward so that you can see them a little bit better. And there, it pushes everything right to the front. And then we'll go to our carnations. And we'll place these right in the front. Carnations are really long lasting, so it's, although some people knock them, I, I still like them, especially the burgundy and the deep purples. Oh, and the mint greens too, those are beautiful. Then we'll take our Hocus Pocus roses, and these are gonna be a little pop, so you wanna make sure they're right up front a little spotlight. When they're first closed, you might not see all the variegate, variegation, but as they open, they'll open into this intense spiral. It's so beautiful. And these are just going to be placed sporadically through the carnations. You almost won't notice them until they start to open. them to the side. Ooh, one more up front. Then, as our last little accent, we'll put our aquasina right inside. Then, all it's left to do is to bring everything together. It's a nice little display piece. There we go. And there you have it, a nice holiday Halloween display. I hope you guys enjoy and we'll see you next week.